Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, we are doing another edition of our Fragrance Favorites series. And today's edition, I think may be one of, well, I shouldn't say my absolute favorite, but it's darn close to my absolute favorite because I think I already said my favorite was the Amber Fragrances. This in many ways ties with my absolute favorite category. and. This category is earthy fragrances, woody fragrances, just natural. I'm a Taurus, if any of you are not aware, so yeah, it's just I have a special affinity with things that come from the earth, come from the ground, just those really rich, base, woodsy, beautiful outdoors type fragrances. Um, that is what this video is all about. And um, anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, then I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep on watching. As I always say at the beginning of these videos, there is always a chance that a fragrance that I love you might not love, and there's always a chance that a fragrance that you really like, I may have on my fails list. And fragrance is just highly subjective. So all that said, uh, this series, as I've mentioned in all my other videos, outlines fragrances that I've had an extensive experience testing and or selling successfully in my own candle line. Um, but anyways, let's get right into these. So in my number five spot, um, we have Garden Mint, and this one is by Candle Science. Now, Garden Mint is just your classic herb garden. You definitely get the mint as the most prominent note, but there's lots of other herbs with this one. Like I pick up thyme and sage and maybe even like a little bit of oregano, maybe even some, a hint of like lemon. And yeah, there's like a base of, I wanna say like vetiver to this one and cedarwood. Um, I don't know if those notes are actually in there, but that's definitely what I pick up personally. And this fragrance I am going to be having in my rustic collection and that is coming out in 2023 but I have done extensive testing with this fragrance and can confirm that it throws very well in both soy wax and in my beeswax soy and cocoa cream wax blend. And I think this is just a really classic fragrance. If you want that scent, like you are sticking your head into an herb garden, then Garden Mint by Candle Science is it. In my number four spot, we have White Birch and as I mentioned about this series, these are fragrances that are going to be year-round bestsellers, um, not fragrances that are going to be like your Fraser Fir or your Mistletoe or anything that leans Christmassy fall. Um, but some people may argue that White Birch does lean more that way because, um, at least for me personally, I do have this in my winter collection. However, I am ranking this as my number five best earthy fragrance or favorite earthy fragrance, I should say, of all time, uh, because I think you could sell White Birch in your candle line year round. I definitely don't think that this is a winter only um, or fall only, winter only fragrance. Um, this one is literally like so, sophisticated, so complex and cohesive. Um, I wouldn't blend it with anything. It has a rich base and middle profile to it. And I have just made this into a countless amount of soy candles is how I've tested this one. And the hot throw is really strong in this one. I've also tried mixing it with Frosted Juniper by Candle Science and I like that. Um, I actually did that as a solstice candle last year, a collaboration. But yeah, this White Birch from Candle Science is just a real classic. It's definitely going to lean more towards your upscale lines, in my opinion, personally. Um, just a really, really, really cohesive, well done fragrance. In my number three spot, we have Cracklin Birch. And you all can tell I kind of have a thing for birch fragrances. I know, I'm a little biased. Um, but trust me, there are a handful of other birch fragrances that I don't even have featured on this video. I don't bring anything to this table that I feel indifferent about. Um, it's either gonna be really good or really bad, or it's gonna be an honorable mention. So yeah, there's 
multiple other birch fragrances that are not even in this video, but these two in particular, um, this Cracklin birch um, in my number three spot and my number four spot, which was the white birch, um, I think are just both exceptional and they're so different. Um, this Cracklin birch, like don't like this picture with the wolf um, it's so much more than that. Like it's, it's a cute picture, right? But no, this is really, 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 um, a high end fragrance. In my opinion, it is one of the most cohesive fragrances that I have ever, ever smelled. I would not mix this one with anything. Um, the fragrance notes to it, in addition to the birch, you do get a lot of patchouli, amber, sandalwood. Um, you get some like woodland spices, woodland air almost. It's a really outdoorsy fragrance. Um, I saw this one in my Wanderlust collection as my Bavaria candle. And it's definitely like in my top three best sellers from the Wanderlust collection. Uh, but yeah, this Cracklin Birch by Nature's Garden, hands down, takes my number three spot. And Wade from Black Tie Barn is actually who introduced me to this fragrance um, and he was raving about it. And I looked at it and I was like, this doesn't even look you know, like that good, but I had to try it. And since I tried it for the first time about a year and a half ago, I just can't even look back. Um, I can't imagine my candle line without this fragrance um, in it. Okay, now my number two spot is so, so special to me. I don't even know how to begin to tell you how special this fragrance is. If you haven't heard of it or you haven't smelled it, do yourself a favor and the next time you order from Candle Science, choose this one as your free sample. Um, you will be thanking me later. This fig tree um, by Candle Science is so, so, so special. I was actually debating putting this one in my um, best clean sense of all time and then I concluded that it would have to rank very, very high in my best spa sense of all time video, which is coming out soon by the way. Um, but yeah, even for my best earthy sense, I could not place this any lower than number two. And I even played around with putting this in number one um, because this fig tree, I don't even think it's that well reviewed. It is so, so, so underrated. First of all, it's a phenomenal thrower um, in soy wax. I've tested it as well as in my beeswax soy and cocoa cream wax blend. And this is one of the most sophisticated earthy fragrances. I think it probably is the most sophisticated earthy fragrance I have ever, ever smelled. Um, totally different than the Cracklin Birch um, or than any other fragrance um, that I can even like come close to with it. Um, it's just smooth and svelte. And I sell this one in my Wanderlust collection as my Barcelona candle. I do blend it with Sandalwood by Candle Science and I will put my blend that I use in the description box. But yeah, this is a standalone fragrance, 110%. You don't have to blend it with anything. Um, and yeah, this, this scent, like if you do anything spa, anything high end, like basically anything aromatherapy, this fig tree, um, it's so cohesive. I don't even know what I'm smelling. Um, I get the fig, yes, but there's also like some clean notes to this and like some berry almost, but it's not like a sweet berry. It's like a rustic like blackberry or something almost, but there's like a little bit of sage to it. and. There's such a well-roundedness to this fragrance. I could literally do a whole video on just this scent. Um, and yeah, so this is my Barcelona candle in my Wanderlust collection. It is my number one bestseller, hands down, in my Wanderlust collection. Um, this scent is hardly ever in stock, and when I do sell out, I have people usually within a week asking for more Barcelona. I have customers buy like five of these candles at once, um, and these are like my $38 candles. Um, yeah, so hands down, um, this is like 
like a hidden gem of a fragrance and I'm so excited to kind of put the spotlight on it and hopefully some of you are able to check it out and I'm curious to know what you think of this fragrance. All right, so my number one I'm kind of rolling my eyes at after we just talked about that fig tree because it really doesn't hold a candle to it in my opinion. But I had to rank this one as number one because I've had it in my candle line for I want to say like three years. It was basically one of my first scents that I put in my candle line when I started selling the 464 candles and it's always done well. I sell a lot of it year round. If you took it to a farmer's market, you'd probably sell 10 out of 10 to use Jeff Stanley's analogy. But this is Oak Moss and Amber by Candle Science and it's a really strong fragrance. It's gonna like throw you over the head with the oak moss and the amber. It's kind of masculine, some people say, like, um, I don't know, like it's not like a deodorant, but it could be like a cologne almost. Um, I have a lot of women that buy the scent and love it. Um, they'll put it in their bathrooms, they'll put it in large rooms of their homes. A small six ounce candle can fill a large room um, in soy in 464. It's one of the only fragrances that I can confidently, confidently say that about um, because it's so hard when you're using natural wax blends to fill a large room with a small candle. But yeah, this Oak Moss and Amber right here by Candle Science does it. It's very earthy. Um, it's I sell this as my Earth Angel candle. Um, I usually like <sighs> play the Penguin song, the Earth Angel song when I'm talking about this candle. It just like goes with that song for me. But yeah, I have to rank this as number one while I'm rolling my eyes about it because it is definitely not my personal favorite. Um, I would have to say that Fig Tree is my personal favorite um, earthy fragrance, but you know, and also my best seller in my Wanderlust collection, but because this one has the history um, and the year round appeal in my main artisan candle collection, I do have to rank it number one because I think that you all, whether or not you decide to purchase it, at least need to be aware of it. So as you all know, I am a Taurus and this video is not gonna run on the short side at all. We have a lot of honorable mentions that are excellent, excellent fragrances. Fragrances. So if you did just watch the top five, please don't click out because a lot of these honorable mentions will probably take the place of some of my top fives um, because the main reason that they're honorable mentions for a lot of them is just that I haven't tested them extensively. And in order to rank in my top five, I really have to be extensively experienced with working with the oil, usually in multiple waxes and for a number of candle seasons. But the first of these honorable mentions is going to be Patchouli Sandalwood by Stone Candles. And this scent is going to become my Kathmandu candle in my Wanderlust collection. I love everything about it. This is such a high-end fragrance. Um, you get the patchouli, you get the sandalwood but it's nothing like the flaming candles, patchouli sandalwood, which I like by the way, uh, don't get me wrong. This is just a whole, whole nother level. Um, I believe it has coriander and a little bit of lime to it, as well as I'm just reading on the bottle, they have a few of the notes. Yeah, like smoky incense, amber, um, there's a whole rich profile to this one. There's jasmine, but you really don't smell all those notes. It is the patchouli and the sandalwood. It's just a high, high end version of it. And to me, it smells like Kathmandu. It smells like just like a sacred spiritual place. Um, oh, I adore this fragrance. I would have to say that this one probably will rank much higher um, as I gain more experience uh, working with it. All right, next honorable mention goes to Figuier by Stone Candles. And this one, I do have extensive experience using. Um, it is in my candle line and has been for, I wanna say the last eight months. Um, this one is in my Antalya candle. It is a blend with Cassis by Stone Candles. It is a 50-50 blend for Antalya, Turkey. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot, but I do have to only list it as an honorable mention because I have had trouble with this one causing a lot of soot with the wood wicks. So I've been experimenting with wicking down and that has helped, but it's still not quite where I want it to be. So I'm continuing to work on this fragrance um, to 
help it to meet my needs in my candle line and burn cleaner. And the next honorable mention is going to be, uh, I just have to do this. I know um, that a lot of people don't want these types of fragrances probably in candles, but <laughs> this tomato leaf, I have to mention it. It's such a classic tomato leaf. Like I never would have imagined a tomato leaf being made into a fragrance but this is such a tomato leaf made into a fragrance. And the way that they've utilized lemon as a top note in this one is so intelligent. Um, it works just perfectly. Like you can see how all these notes come together um, to make a tomato leaf. And it literally is a tomato leaf to a T. It throws excellently in 464 soy. I had this one in my candle line for the first time this year in my summer line um, as a blend with this one actually, the fresh picked cucumber. And I had it as my farmer's market candle. I will put the blend in the description box. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's just not very popular, at least for my audience. I love the blend. It throws really well, um, but it just hasn't sold a whole lot. So that's why it only gets an honorable mention. I wish it got more love and appreciation. I do do a lot of my sales online though. And I think that if you were to take this one as a blend to a farmer's market, and sell it like as farmer's market that it could do really well if people were able to smell it in person and um, like if you had the right setting for it like a farmer's market. And the next one going along with the sort of classic, uh, we have Fresh Cut Grass by Candle Science. Now, this is Fresh Cut Grass 2AT. Um, I use this fragrance as a blend. Um, you could certainly use it as a standalone. It's a really powerful, powerful Fresh Cut Grass fragrance. Um, I use it as a blend with French Lilac and I do use, I think just a little bit of this um, with it. It's mostly French Lilac actually, but I will put the blend in the description box. Yeah, but this fragrance is such a classic. I think a lot of candle lines would just have this fragrance as a staple. Um, and you probably wouldn't need to use the one from Candle Science necessarily. I'm sure a lot of other companies make great fresh cut grass fragrances, but this one is a really strong thrower. Like when I use this in my After the Rain candle, I believe it's two parts French Lilac, one part fresh cut grass. And the fresh cut grass is like more powerful. I would say it's as powerful, if not more than the French Lilac when I'm using a much less amount of it than that fragrance. And yeah, so I have to mention this one um, in this video. The next honorable mention goes to Agar Wood by Stone Candles. Now this fragrance, um, it definitely, I think, has a very select crowd. I, don't, I think it could be very polarizing. It's certainly not for me. Um, it, it's a decent thrower, don't get me wrong, but it's just not um, my aesthetic. It's a mix of ginger, sparkling orange, black pepper, grated nutmeg, wild orchid, sugared vanilla, shaved cedar, patchouli, and sandalwood. Um, very high end smelling and I can see this doing really well. Just not quite my aesthetic, but I can still appreciate it and give it an honorable mention. And the last of these honorable mentions um, are going to be, I'm gonna just mention them all at once because these, I would not use any of them as a standalone, um, but these make excellent blenders. So you have Kathmandu by 1617, which is a mix of Malabar pepper, cedar, sandalwood, and Baltic amber. Really earthy. It's a fragrance that smells more like Palo Santo than any Palo Santo fragrance I've ever smelled. And I do sell Palo Santo as well. So I've had trouble finding something that smells remotely like it. I'm not gonna say the Kathmandu is Palo Santo to a T, but it's more like it than anything I've smelled before. So I have to mention it and I have used it as a blender in a number of occasions in several collabs as well that I've done. And it's been very successful to just add that earthy, woody dimension. Um, the next one is Frankincense by Nature's Garden. Just a classic frankincense. Believe it or not, it's harder to find than you might think. Um, if you're looking for something that smells like the frankincense essential oil, um, this is it right here by Nature's Garden, their frankincense uh, fragrance. And the next one is Sandalwood and Suede by The Flaming Candle. Uh, this reminds me so much of Aztec's Barnwood that I really like, um, but it has phthalates in it, so 
It's a real fail to me. Um, I'd like to be able to use it. But yeah, this sandalwood and suede is beautiful. It is on the lighter end. I don't think I would use it by itself, but it would make a beautiful blender uh, to add that earthy dimension to any fragrance. Next one is Darjeeling, I believe this is pronounced. And this fragrance, I just love. Um, it's so like out in the country, like you get the notes of hay almost and straw and like grass, but like a country pasture almost. It's really beautiful, but it's upscale too. Um, I want to say like sweet grass, maybe a hint of lemon and violet even. Um, I just love this fragrance. I don't have any extensive experience working with it though, and so that's why I did just put this in my honorable mentions. And also, I probably wouldn't use this one on its own. I may play around with using it on its own, but I do kind of wonder if it might be light and natural wax blends. And the last honorable mention for this video is arguably the best and yeah, if you don't already have this in your fragrance collection, the Sandalwood by Candle Science, you're just missing out. Um, this is like, this fragrance ranked number one on my best blenders video. Um, basically, the short version is if you're looking to add an earthy dimension to pretty much anything, like mix just a little bit of this Sandalwood with whatever you're doing and you're gonna have such a level of sophistication added to your candle. I called this fragrance the secret behind my Wanderlust collection because I use it on a lot of different scents in that collection and that's just what kind of adds that smooth undercurrent that people don't quite understand what makes all the fragrances in this collection just go. Even though they're all different, they all seem to be like sequels of the same story uh, or chapters of the same story. And the secret is this sandalwood fragrance by Candle Science. And I keep two five pound buckets of his fragrance at all times because it's so, so, so good. And for the fails, this video definitely has some fails as a Taurus. As an earth sign, I just have some strong feelings about some of these fragrances. Our first fail is, I hate to say this, it makes me so sad to say this, I really wanted to love this fragrance. Um, the Spirits Who Sunk Deep by Stone Candles. Um, really expensive oil too. And honestly, it just to me, um, smells like floor cleaner like a nice pine salt. And they took something that had such a beautiful name and potential, and it's just missing a lot. Um, yeah, it, it just, it smells like pine salt to me, and that's a real disappointment. The next fail is Smoked Oud by Candle Science. Now, as y'all can see, I've like tested half this bottle and I've tried a lot of things with it. I wanted to like this one. I do like it more than like their Fireside or their smoked, um, what is it? Their new smoked something or another that they have. But yeah, it seems like they're using a lot of the same things in their smoked fragrances. Uh, the Candle Science um, is because yeah, this smoked oud, it has a lot in common with their Fireside and with their other smoked um, fragrances. I'll list them on the screen. I can't think of them all, but I own them. And yeah, it, it's pungent. And that's what I have to say about it. It's pungent. It's less pungent than the other ones, but it's pungent. And I can't figure out how to get this to work for me personally in my candle line. I think that it's well reviewed. I think that it might be an interesting one to use as your free sample if you don't know what to choose for a free sample from them. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a real shame because I think this one could have had a lot more potential with the Oud. And I love, love, love Oud. And I love smoky fragrances, but I don't love fragrances that smell like smoke in your hair. My third fail for this video is um, Redwood and Cedar by The Flaming Candle. Now, this one also on the same aesthetic as the Spiritu Sancto, Sanctus reminds me of, um, rather than reminding me of a polish that I would use on the floor, 
This redwood and cedar by the flaming candle reminds me of a version of old English floor polish that I might use on my furniture, on my wood furniture. And it takes something like a redwood forest out west that's so beautiful and expansive and magical and makes it into uh, this version of Old English. And that is a real shame to me. I, I really think that this fragrance has a lot of potential and I may play around with using it as a blender, but uh, very disappointed in redwood and cedar. And the last fail for this video is French Vanilla Oak by Nature's Garden. Uh, this fragrance, it just smells like a suntan lotion, kind of like Candle Science seems to have a tendency to use a lot of smoke in your hair fragrances for their smoky fragrances. I find that Nature's Garden tends to use a lot of suntan-like fragrances, um, like for example, for their Amber Romance, um, Bath and Body Works dupe. That one to me smelled like suntan lotion. I think I actually threw that oil away. Um, there are several that I smelled. I think they're rosewood. No, not their rosewood. That's a good one. But there's another one that I'm thinking of that I'm going to put the name of on the screen that also really, really reminds me of suntan lotion. Um, so yeah, this French vanilla oak, I think that um, that kind of is all I have to say about it. And um, I would pass on that one. Well, that is all for today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, comment fueled by nature in the comment section and you will make me smile because this video was really special to me and it just is close to my heart as an earth sign. And yeah, I just, I love, love, love earthy scents. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to leave me a comment if you have tried any of these fragrances or if you have any earthy fragrances that you know about that you think I need to check out because I am a little bit obsessed with fragrances if you haven't noticed by now. But anyways, I'm wishing everyone peace, love, and light and happy candle making. <music>